This is a story about Thomas, Dill and Terence, summer vacation and the snow. One day, stopping for a signal, he saw the tractor close by. Hello, I'm Terence, I'm plowing. I'm Thomas and I'm pulling a train. What ugly wheels you've got. I love how Thomas just opens this conversation by being an asshole. I'm just surprised someone's so... So what? Far from civilization. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to be patronizing. Mm. Do you know what that means? Thomas is arrogant and that lands him in shit. Cows are the only locals I am not worried about. So harmless, super dumb, and... <laughs> <laughs> the next time Thomas saw Terence plowing the field, he called out to him. You've missed a bit over there in the corner. <laughs> Silly old tractor. And he whistled rudely. Well, you are out of luck. It certainly is. Thomas often saw Terence working, but though he whistled, yeah, locals. Terence never answered. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> to get you some friends. You'll need your snow plow for the next journey, Thomas. Yes? Well, snow is silly soft stuff. It won't stop me. You may know how to handle trucks and coaches, Thomas, but you still haven't managed to learn from others. You've only been able to learn so far from your own mistakes. That pretty much sounds like how things are going to work out. You're going the wrong way! You're both way off! Thomas is obviously still learning on how much authority he truly thinks he has, and so far he has continued to learn by making a fool of himself. Serves him right. Thomas is a stupid, ignorant child. Take the tunnel to the left. Your other left. Just testing. Do you mean to tell me that you don't know left from right? You never know who you will end up relying on in the future. Soon enough one winter's day when the snow may deep and hard. Thomas the he was in trouble. Along, along, the now Thomas, Thomas was very grateful. I was so wrong about you. Not all locals are bad news. Things aren't necessarily From then on, Terence and Thomas were good friends, and they were never rude to each other again. Yeah. <gasps> Chips! Uh, locals. Nice. She was disappointed. He's constantly making mistakes. Except he never seems to learn from any of them. Do you feel that those those television programs are still your work? No. Dad made it look easy. Oh, what a rescue! And Audrey is all like, "You little roadbucker, I'm going to castrate you." the locals. Audrey approves. I was so wrong about you locals. Yeah, you were. Okay, we get it. Can you please move on? And with that, <laughs> Thomas puffed tiredly bye. back to the engine shed. Bye, Bessie. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did you see that? I told you so. Wow, guess I got everyone wrong. I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas. 110%. I'll try, said Thomas as he puffed home.